I'm Brittany Lewis with Forbes Breaking News. At Friday's House Rules Committee hearing, Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene argued against the bipartisan gun reform bill with Congressman Jamie Raskin. The Georgia Republican decried the bill, stating that it violated constitutional rights and made citizens less safe. During a tense line of questioning, the Maryland Democrat brought up January 6th, calling out the Georgia Republicans' past statements on the Capitol riot. This led to a fiery exchange. Let's take a listen. The phrase well-regulated militia that appears in the Second Amendment. Um, in the Heller decision, Justice Scalia said that um, there is an individual right to carry a gun. The, the liberals lost that case arguing that it was only for people uh, who are actively participating in the militia, which we would call the National Guard today. Uh, and, but in order for um, there to be the availability of uh, self-defense for people and the ability of people to participate in hunting and recreation, which is traditional. People have an individual right. Um, do you believe, uh, Mr. Scott, that the Second Amendment gives people the right to be in private armed militias uh, against the government, or do you believe that a well-regulated militia means that the government, and specifically Congress in Article 1, Section 8, has the power to regulate the militia. Well, I think the, what was thought of back then was something akin to the National Guard. The state has a well-regulated militia, and those words are in the Constitution. It also talks to the people's right, which tends to suggest a collective right, not a person's right to bear arms. Um, I, I agree with um, Justice Warren Berger, who said that the idea that this is an individual right has been a fraud upon the people. Um, Ms. Green, what about you? Do you think the Second Amendment right protects the right of private armed militias to operate outside of state or federal control? I believe the Second Amendment gives the states the right to have a militia, and it, it did not expand which way that went, but it gives the state that right. And I think it's extremely important. And I just want to clarify, Mr. Raskins, I never said arm every single person. Uh, people have the right to keep and bear arms if they choose. And I also feel that, uh, you know, if my children are in school and a madman with a gun comes to a school to kill people, uh, unfortunately, a psychologist is not going to be able to just talk him out of it. That, that is, is not a good way to protect kids. But again, we but enjoy... Do you think the students should be armed? Uh, I think children should be trained with firearms. I definitely do. I think that's very important so that they understand the So they could repel someone who comes in. That's not what I said. Them. I said I believe children should be trained with firearms so they understand how to use them and understand the safety. But I think, I think that we should allow states to choose how they uh, protect schools. I, I believe more in state rights and and. A okay. lot less than federal. So, just I want to be clear about your position. You, there are 50 states that now ban private militias on the theory that people don't have a right to take up arms against the government. Mm -hmm. You agree with that, um, Mr. Raskins? I believe we're talking about due process rights. I, I'm not sure how we we're onto this about private. We're talking about the Second Amendment. Yes, we're talking about the Second Amendment. That's yeah. right. I think you mentioned abortion a moment ago, but if we could stick to guns for a second. Well, uh, abortion in, kills babies, innocent. We're talking about kids being killed. <laughs> okay, good. Abortion well, kills yeah. innocent children. All right, I, I got that your... They can't protect themselves at all from this horrific procedure. Sounds like you want to arm them. But in any event, uh, my question That's is impossible. about militias. That's impossible, Mr. Raskins. But I wanted to talk about militias. Do you agree that it's constitutional for the 50 states to ban private militias? Uh, I don't think they should be banned. The federal government isn't protecting our border. We're being invaded every single day uh, by an unknown amount of people coming illegally across our border. I think we're in a time where states have the rights uh, to be able to figure out how to protect their citizens. Right. So here's what the states have figured out, Ms. Green. They've figured out mm -hmm. that private groups who are armed should not be taking up arms against the government and have no Second Amendment right against the state. So you agree with that? I think it's in, the Second Amendment is clear. It means that, that we need well-armed citizens. And okay. I, I believe that's extremely important, Mr. Raskins. And as, as weird as this body or the Senate, perhaps, 
is trying to violate the Second Amendment, but yet the Supreme Court just ruled yesterday that that uh, that Americans need to be able to keep and, and yeah. bear arms, carry them. Handguns. Bear them means carry, carry them. Okay. Carry them in order to protect so them.